Hey Scorpio, it's Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana, and these are your deep thoughts for the month of May. <clears throat> May 2019. This is a general overall reading for the energy that's going on with the sign of Scorpio. This does not, is not a substitute for a personal reading. Don't ever, 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 ever plan your life on a general tarot card reading, mine or anybody else's. If you have questions, concerns, you need understanding, confirmation, direction, um, get a personal reading with somebody, your favorite tarot card reader, me, that'd be awesome. If not, definitely go to your own tarot card reader and, and, and get a real tarot card reading for the situation in your life, okay? Okay, this is the general overall energy for the sign of Scorpio. Um, for the month of May 2019, if you have Scorpio anywhere in your chart, this reading very, very well may resonate with you, right? And your chart is huge, so you probably have some Scorpio somewhere. So hopefully this resonates with you. If it does, awesome. If it doesn't, uh, oh well. So here we go. So you start out this reading in pursuit of the Ten of Cups, right? This Ten of Cups is all about creating harmony in your life happiness, values alignment. This 10 of cups tells me that at this particular time, whether this is about to happen, is happening, or has happened for you, at this point in the reading, there is a misalignment of values in your life. You are not matching up with someone or something in your life, right? Temperance came in to clarify this, and it clarifies an imbalance, right? An imbalance that needs some realignment so you can have balance and purpose in your life. The King of Wands. Now, I know that this is a fire energy, and Scorpio is a water energy, but for me in my readings, this King of Wands is both Aries and Scorpio, okay? It's an Aries Scorpio combo card, right? So this King of Wands is you, my friend, Scorpio, presenting in this reading, okay? This tells me that you are bound and determined to come hell or high water to fix this particular situation in your life. You are not going to tolerate the misalignment of values. You are not going to tolerate an imbalance in your life. And you are bound and determined to fix this. How are you going to fix this? Well, with the Princess of Pentacles, of course. This Princess of Pentacles is all about manifesting a new opportunity into your life. And based on the rest of these cards, I'm going to say manifest a new financial opportunity into your life because the way these look, I am saying that this is probably a financial reading. However, if it doesn't resonate with you as a financial reading and you can put any other aspect of your life into this, by all means, please do. This is a general reading, right? So this King of Wands is dissatisfied and he is not going to take it anymore. He is going to, he being a king, right, is going to manifest a brand new opportunity into their lives with the Princess of Pentacles. This Queen of Wands comes in and says, reiterates determination. I mean like pure determination. You have the King and the Queen of Wands in this reading. These are my career cards. These are success, determination, vision, prosperity, right? And I know Pentacles is prosperity, but the King and King, Queen, the King and Queen of Wands, they are the shit, okay? So you have both of them in your reading. This Queen of Wands tells me that you are so freaking determined, so determined to create the Ten of Pentacles in your life. This Ten of Pentacles is about a golden opportunity, a solid foundation, a job that brings you the money that you're worth being paid, right? That's what you're going to manifest with this Princess of Pentacles right here. You're going to manifest with sheer determination the Ten of Pentacles, family, wealth, establishment, the foundation by which to build a future. The lover's card comes in, and yes, this is about love, but it's also about harmony in your life. 
values alignment and choices. And that's what this card is speaking to, that you are going to make a choice to manifest the energy of the Ten of Pentacles into your life via the manifestation of a brand new opportunity with the attitude of the badass being the king of wands because there is a misalignment of values in your life that you need to fix. Ten of Swords comes in and says that you are putting an absolute ending to something. Ending. Done. 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 Not only just done, but I mean, y y you could have killed it with one sword, Scorp, but you put ten in the back of this person, right? You, you are killing whatever it is that is causing an imbalance and a misalignment of values in your life. This is clarified by the judgment card. This judgment card is about making a judgment call. It's about a rebirth and an inner calling, an absolution to the situation. This is a black and white decision that changes the trajectory of your life. Yesterday, I was this. Today, I am this. It's that kind of a decision, right? To the Princess of Cups, this is a messenger of a creative new beginning and synchronicity in your life where there was imbalance and a misalignment of values before based on this decision made by the energy of the King of Wands right there, you are having an absolution to the situation and you are going to have a creative new beginning in your life. This is a messenger card, right? Maybe some kind of offer comes in. Maybe you deliver a message to somebody, but either way, you're putting an end to the imbalance in your life and you are creating a creative new beginning. We'll come down here to the five of cups. Can you all see that? This five of cups. Five of cups is about loss, regret, and disappointment, right? So this tells me underneath this 10 of cups right here that this misalignment of values has created a sense of, of disappointment in your life, right? You thought something was going to be fulfilling and it's turned out to be disappointing. And you're thinking about walking away. Actually, with this 10 of swords right here, you are walking away. However... This decision is not without a lot of thinking. The Eight of Swords is about isolation and a self-imposed restriction, being so caught up in the mental that you're immobilized and you can't, you can't see the forest through the trees, right? Now, it's followed by the chariot. This tells me that although you were the Eight of Swords energy. This card is also about being open to new perspectives and releasing the mental imprisonment that has held you in this imbalanced situation up to this point. But Scorpio has had enough of it. Chariot comes in and says, you're rolling. You are rolling on down the road. This card is about self-discipline, control, willpower, determination to take the action. That's the key word, the action to succeed. Six of Cups comes in. Yes, yes, yes. Everybody thinks this is about reuniting, reconciling family home, but you know what? The Six of Cups is also about being stuck in the past and unrealistic. And what this card tells me in this positioning is that you have a little bit of fear rolling forward because you're maybe concerned that this creative new beginning and this manifestation of this new opportunity is a little unrealistic and stuck in the past being, do I, do I tolerate imbalance in my life because it might bring me a good paycheck or a, or good feelings of some sort? Do I tolerate this imbalance in my life and stay stuck in my past and just continue on doing what I do? Or 
do I take inspired action and, and manifest a new opportunity into my life that will alleviate the feelings of misalignment and imbalance in my life? right? That's what you're thinking about in that five of cups right there. And that's why that six of cups is right here in your reading. Also, the six of cups is about you having a little bit of hesitancy to leave what is familiar to you in pursuit of something that fulfills you on a deeper level. Okay. So justice comes in says that you have spoken some truth to yourself with this judgment card right here. Justice is all about just that, justice. There can't be justice where there wasn't an injustice, right? The injustice is whatever this is up here that is creating an imbalance in your life. So justice, fairness, truth, cause and effect, and law. What's the cause? The imbalance. What's the effect? Your decision to remove yourself from the imbalance and to create peace and harmony and balance in your life. Eight of Wands says, you, now that you've made this decision right here with the judgment card and you've kind of processed these emotions over here, this justice card is followed by the Eight of Wands. This Eight of Wands is speed, action, movement, swift change, potentially some travel. Maybe it's a job that has to do something with travel. I don't know. But nevertheless, it's actual movement. It's not just thinking about it. It's not executing it in your head. It's putting your thoughts and emotions and intentions into kinetic movement forward to actually do something about this situation. This, my friends, creates the world card. This is a card about completion, integration, accomplishment, and again, travel. Interesting. If travel fits in with you, then put it where it goes, right? So this world card says you're about to start a whole new chapter. One life cycle has been completed and a brand new life cycle is about to be written for you, right? Not for you, but by you, by you. The, the world card is, is about to start turning and you're about to start putting the ink to the paper and creating a whole new chapter in your life. Now what we have right here is typical scorpionic energy, right? Typical, typical scorp right here. This devil card, this is about self-disparaging thoughts. I'm afraid. I can't do it. What if it doesn't work out? What if I don't have the skill set? What if, what if, what could be, how it could be? All of those self-disparaging thoughts, right? And this card is here to warn you, Scorpio, that as this wheel, as the world starts turning for you and you start writing that new chapter of your life, that you're going to have some, some reservations. You're going to hear yourself disparage your own potential. So know that, that when this happens, that's normal. It's normal to be afraid. It's normal to lock down. It's normal to have those self-disparaging thoughts going around in your head. Handle them. Don't listen to them block them out. It's a restriction to your achievement. Okay. So, 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 so handle them in the appropriate way, box them where they need to go, chain them up with that devil's own chain and put them away. Nine of wands comes in and says that you're going to have to have courage and persistence, right? This is a card about being on edge, defensive, and hesitant as well. And it goes right with that, with that devil energy, right? That is going to surface for you. It is. And you're going to be thinking about it for a minute, right? You're going to second guess yourself in this particular situation, Scorpio. You are. You're going to second guess yourself. But this hangman is also about, about not only is it about delays, resistance, stalling, indecision, 
which goes right back to everything that I just said about that devil card right there, right? But this hanged man is about pausing, surrendering, letting go of all of the bullshit feelings that are surfacing and coming out on the other side with a new perspective, right? So this hanged man is you dealing with that devil energy that will come up for you, Scorpio. Handle it like a boss, right? You're the freaking king of wands. Handle it like a boss. Not only are you the king of wands, but your card is the death card. It's a card of endings and change, transformation and transition, personal transformation in your life. Remember who you are. You are the king of transformation. What's up next? The four of wands. This four of wands is all about creating, check this out, harmony in your life. It's about the four wands represent foundation and stability. The number four is about structure, foundation, and stability, right? Formation, organization. This card is also about transition. So after you go through this little hangman episode right there, you are going to come to the conclusion that transformation and transition is what you are going to create in your life in order to bring balance back. Seven of Pentacles says that you are disappointed in your current situation disappointed with the profit or the reward or the investment that you have that you have made or the lack of profit and reward that you're getting from the effort that you're putting in and it's got to stop three of swords comes in this is all about grief right it's about painful separation sorrow heartbreak grief rejection but this card is also about releasing that pain and having some optimism for your future. So this comes in, right? Right after that. So you come out of this, this devil energy with some courage and new perspectives about the whole situation, right? You're going to transition into an energy of building a stable foundation for your life because what you're doing now is not paying off. Yeah, it could be painful, a painful decision somehow and a little bit scary, but you're going to release that pain, release that pain and have optimism about your future. And it's a good thing you do, Scorpio, because it's got some beautiful things coming in here. Four of Swords. This is a card about contemplation, recuperation, healing, and rest. And that's what you're doing right here. You are, you are contemplating. You're contemplating this whole decision-making process right here. Contemplating everything. And, but this is a peaceful contemplation. It's about recuperation and resting from this, this pretty mind-twisting kind of decision that you have to make right here, right? I mean, it's a pretty, it's a pretty ringing, like a, a wet rag kind of thing, right? So you're contemplating and you're having peace about the decisions that you've made. Five of Swords comes in and talks about conflict, defeat, tension, but it also talks about being open to change. And that is the decision, my friend, that you have come to ultimately is that you are going to change your life. When you come to terms with this, the wheel shows up in your reading. This is a card about good luck, karma, one life cycle ending, a new life cycle beginning, and a turning point in your destiny. So your decision to leave this imbalance and misalignment of values in your life, whatever that is for you, financial, relational, or otherwise, your decision to dip out and find something better for yourself is a turning point in your destiny. This wheel card 
only shows up when we have learned what it is that we need to learn. So we can move into the future, not repeating the mistakes of the past. This is universe opening a door for you and creating a turning point in your destiny because you have put in the effort that you needed to put in to get to this point. Beautiful. This wheel, this turning point in your destiny, this manifestation of a new opportunity, this messenger of a creative new beginning in your life puts you in the energy of the empress. Man, woman, doesn't matter. Does not matter matter. This empress is about abundance. It's about building. It's about creating your own life. It's about being the fertile ground by which the universe can plant seeds for you to tend to, to procure and to grow into massive abundance in your life. So massive that the Hierophant shows up. This is something, the Hierophant to the Empress. This is something spectacular, absolutely spectacular that is about to fall into your lap. Wow. Significant. The Hierophant rules careers, social conformities, family traditions, social traditions, higher learning, religion. And this placement where it is right now tells me that this Hierophant is talking about something that is huge, huge in your life. Something rooted in the word commitment. And because I feel like this is a career reading, I think this is a job. If this is love for you, then this is definitely a committed relationship. Definitely a committed relationship. But either way, whether it's job or love, it's still a committed relationship, right? An abundant, hugely significant committed relationship in your life. The moon card comes in and says, you're ready for this. You have tapped into your subconscious mind, your intuition. You've released fear from this devil energy. You've released fear. You've released your repressed emotions. And you are so freaking ready for this. Yeah, look, it's all about who you give and receive with. It's about how you make your pentacles. It's about how you spend your daily life. To the Queen of Cups. Wow, that's beautiful. This is a card about self-love. Number one, first and foremost, self-love. It's about having emotional security, being emotionally balanced and in control, Calm, cool, collective, intuitive, knowing that you know that you know that this is where you need to be. Seven of Swords. All that conflict. This up here may feel some betrayal in up the up here. Somebody, somebody ain't somebody ain't given what they should be given up here. The Seven of Swords, shady behavior, trying to get away with something, you know, whatever that was for you, you are breaking free of those mental challenges and they are no longer a factor in your life. And the Two of Wands comes in and says that you are making progress, you're making decisions, and you are planning for your future. Where there was fear of the unknown before, you are concrete, solid, and stable about moving forward. Wow, that's a beautiful reading, Scorpio. That is a beautiful, beautiful reading. I'm gonna get some outcome cards, so stand by, stand by. So, 
Tarot Spirit, thank you for those messages. Thank you for those messages. So what's coming down the road for Scorpio? What's the outcome here? What is it that Scorpio should expect in their future? Should they heed the advice of these cards? Should they follow in the same energy, in the same steps that is present right here, right now, today, as they watch this, regardless of the timing, regardless of everything? Aha, the seven of wands, the seven of wands just reiterates, right, that that this, this whole process has been a challenge for you, but you have rose to the occasion and you have dominated the situation. That nine of swords right there, all up in your head, hard. You know what? You are you are chalking this up here, this misalignment of values and this imbalance in your life to a painful lesson. It's just a painful lesson, which goes right back to the wheel card, right? This wheel does not start turning for your destiny until you've learned what you needed to learn. And this nine of swords says that you've learned it. Hierophant, something super significant is coming into your life. Super significant. The conflict that you had up here, this conflict, you harnessed that energy and you turned it into an increased focus on your goals. You took the pain from this imbalance and this misalignment of values right here. You took that... I don't know if it's pain, but you took that static energy and you harnessed it and you used it to your own benefit. Typical freaking Scorpio. God, you guys are awesome. I love Scorpios. I just really do. I know a Scorpio, Aries moon, Libra ascending, Scorpio sun, right? Imagine that mixed right there, right? But uh, I know a Scorpio and they just... Uh, they just uh, are amazing people. They're amazing, amazing people. So anyway, you have harnessed that static and you have turned it into an increased focus on your goals. You've used it as the fuel for your fire to accomplish what you need to accomplish. Like I said, typical Scorpio. What else, spirit? What else do you have to say for Scorpio? What else? And the reward for you doing that is the Hierophant in this particular little stack of cards right here. Something significant coming into your life. What else, Spirit? Any closing words for Scorpio, Spirit? Do you have any closing words for Scorpio? Anything you want to say? Nothing? Nothing? It's done. The message was, was done. Nobody needs to hear. Oh, maybe. Oh, look. Public recognition, victory, self-confidence, and progress. All right, Spirit, I'm going to close it up. Now's your chance. Now's your chance. You have a captive audience, Spirit. Is there anything that you want to say to Scorpio? All right, they're done. I'm not going to force it. And there you go, Scorpio. That is your reading. If you have something like this going on in your life and you want some cards tailored specifically to you, specifically for your situation, hit me up at deepthoughtswithdana.com. Use the link in the box below to get the special YouTube offer that I do for you guys. 50 bucks, I'll hook it up just for you, just for your situation. Good luck and namaste.